So I remember I had a homeboy, right? He loves crazy chicks. In fact, the one time that he dated a woman that wasn't crazy and treated him nice, he actually left her to go back to a different crazy chick, and which is the dumbest mistake he'd ever made in his life. But nevertheless, um, this particular lady uh, broke his windows, flattened his tires, uh, burned his clothes. I'm talking about anything that you can think of. She did it. Called me looking for him, left him voice messages out the ass, called his mama, threatened his mama. Then he had a baby by her. Did all these things. All right. Put him on child support, everything. He, at some point, gave up. Said, okay, listen. I'm tired of going through this. We can't be together. I'm done. All right? She trying to get him back. 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 He says, no, I'm cool. He's at the house one day. Somebody knock on the door. Who is it? It's Sacramento Police Department. So you think it's somebody playing like, yo, man, like, you know, Sack PD, open up. So he open up the door. The police asks, is such and such home? This is me. Here you go. Gave him a piece of paper. Restraining order. I wasn't there at the time. He called me, asked me, can I come over and interpret it? You know, because I'm the smart one, you know, in the hood. So I came here. I looked at it just to make sure. Because he, you know, said that he could not be within 100 yards of her. Now, she had no evidence that he was um, being aggressive recently. But see, what happened was this. She called him, leaving a threatening message. And then he called her back and left that threatening message. And so she took that message to the police, but she saved it after she didn't want to be with him. So he was furious. I said, bro, take that to the police. Because now you can't even go, you're going to have a hard time getting your son because you can't be within 100 yards of her. You should go and fight it. He said, no, man, I I don't want to go to court, dog. I don't want to be no snitch telling on her. I don't get down like that. I'm like, what? What are you talking about? Yeah, man. I mean, you know, she lied to me. That's cool. I said, bro, you have all of these messages, all these text messages. You can go and show the court that she's crazy. And see, this is what this video was about, brothers, because a lot of times some of you guys get in situations with people who are crazy and you don't want to tell because you don't want to tell the police on them. Okay. You don't want to get involved in the court system, but the reality is you're dealing with somebody who's going to call and tell the police on you, no matter what they did. All right. Let me, let me tell you guys something. All right. And this video is about you putting restraining order on her. Do you know how embarrassing it is? For somebody in your community to come and knock on your police house and everybody comes out the door and look at you getting served. Or if you're at your job and I've seen this happen to one guy, I think this was a white guy. White guy got served with a restraining order by his wife that was trying to divorce him. That is an embarrassing thing. All right. It's humiliating. And see. What I want to talk about today is you putting a restraining order on her. Okay? You need to do that. Now, when do you do that is the question. I'm going to guide you guys through it. Because restraining order says she can't come see with the 100 yards. When you can't do that, when you're ready to uh, uh, put a restraining order on her, when you're ready to leave. 
you're going to hit first. All right? And this don't make you no punk. It don't make you no B-I-T-C-H. It makes you smart. Once you are done and you want to get rid of her and you're tired of her calling, you know she's stalking you, you know she's going to possibly lie on you, get a restraining order because she is possibly going to lie on you. She is going to flabbergast things. There's nothing that's that's worse than a woman who is upset. All right? And you need to hit her with that shit first. Because if you don't, and you are in a bad situation, she's going to be able to tell the narrative on you. I've seen it happen too many goddamn times. Now, you look like a stalker. You look like you crazy. You look like all of that. Although she's asking you to come over and don't make the mistake of her putting a restraining order on you and her inviting you to come over and have sex. Because what's going to happen is even if she invites you to come over and you do it, you're going to jail. And so many brothers have been caught up like that. It's a cold game. The girl, girl got a restraining order on you, signed. And usually what happens, she call you, come over, you start messing around. Then when she mad at you, have you come over, please be sitting there waiting on you, take you to jail. Now you in court. You guys got to start that you in the be bad situations. If she ever threatens you, say she gonna do this, I'm not gonna be able to see my kids. I'm not gonna be able to do that. Oh, uh, 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 start talking all this stuff, all this stuff, all this stuff. Don't go ahead and document that. Go to them people. Because at the end of the day, if you don't go, she's going. And, 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 and brothers got to get out of that mentality like, man, I ain't going to go tell. I ain't going to do. And this is why you don't get nowhere. Because you don't even care enough about your damn self. You are getting stalked. Y'all have been out sometime and here she show up all of a sudden. You out with the new girl. There she is with her friend shopping mean mugging. I mean, bro, you don't know if you're not in danger. And the thing about it is, you know, a lot of women think that brothers are dumb. So they can push the line because you're not going to tell on her. But if you do something to her, she's going to tell on you with the quickness, even though she started it. If you know that you're dealing with a crazy person, tell somebody. Get a lawyer and get her away from your job. Get her away from your residence. Get her away from all of that and everything that she do, document it. Voicemails, mm, save that. Emails, harassing emails, because they're they are emotional. They'll do save that. Don't respond. And when them people come to her job and serve her with that restraining order, she's gonna be so mad, she's gonna threaten you again. I can't believe you did that. You all punk. Go ahead. Oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. She's violating the restraining order. I'm just using the phone. You know what I mean? They're going to come and pick her ass up and book her. Because that's what happens with y'all. And y'all need to start to do that. Start taking, okay? And all situations don't end, you know, they, they end in bad terms sometimes. I get it. But take some precautions if you're in a bad situation for yourself if you don't care about your safety if you don't care about your rights then nobody else will that's why black men don't get anywhere you don't care about your safety you don't lobby the courts you don't lobby anything you don't lobby politics you don't lobby anything you get nowhere although you brothers are complaining about police brutality racism all these things how you're not playing the game in the system Black women play the game in the system every day. The gay community play the uh, play the system great. Okay, Jewish people do it. Hispanics do it. Everybody does, it, except for you. And everybody else gets places except for you. 
you don't get nowhere because you too busy trying to keep it real. You too busy trying to uh, 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 stick to the code. And everybody is telling on your ass. You go do something, they're going to tell. You didn't do something, they're going to tell. You stick into this stupid ass code of ethics that's not getting you anywhere. If you want to bring attention to black rights or what's happening, then the courts need to start to see. Brothers are following restraining orders because she is violent. She is crazy. She is threatening. She something is wrong with her. You guys need to do something about it. That's how you get change in black male America. And if you don't do that, we won't get anywhere. And we will continue to be at the bottom of society. So, guys, like the video. Share the video. Let me know what you think. And as you as always, the buffoonery remains at an all time high. I'm out.